Welcome back to Organizing My Toy Room Volume Whatever This Is. I have no idea what this is, guys. All right. So, if you're not familiar with my channel, well, every once in a while, my toy room gets disorganized simply because moving around action figures, buying new action figures, reviewing action figures, and doing comparisons with action figures, my toy room becomes a mess. And as you guys can see, look at my Mortal Kombat section, bro. It was a death to the end. It's a complete fatality. It's a flawless victory. It's... They're goners. I need to uh, organize my uh, Mortal Kombat shelf. Uh, I picked up a few new figures. That's probably one of the main reasons why. And I, plus, I did a lot of comparisons. My DC shelf is a little out of uh, whack right now. Simply because I got too many damn DC figures. I need to get another shelf going um, eventually. Um, what I'm probably going to do is being that I have an empty shelf over here. I might end up putting some of my DC figs over here. I'm not really for sure yet. Um, it's kind of up in the air. Uh, yeah, everything is just so disorganized, man. Everything has fallen over. Uh, my spawn shelf needs to be organized, as you guys can see right there. My Marvel Select shelf, and because I did a Marvel Legends versus Marvel Select comparison video, Marvel Legends shelf is whack, is out of whack, is unorganized, is all hell. So yeah, man, I have a lot to do. I'm actually going to start over here with my Marvel Select shelf and... Organize it first, get it out the way, and then I'll show you the after effect or after result, should I say. Okay, okay. So, before we do the organizing, guys, I got three carded figures that I want to hang up on my wall. Or, excuse me, four carded figures that I want to hang up on my wall that I'm not going to open. Because they just look so good in package. So, they are Warland figures. You guys may have seen them in previous videos right there right there and so where i'm going to hang them where i'm going to put them is right here behind the door on my wall because it's the only empty space that i have as you guys can see all my walls are pretty much covered i really can't put any way any figures anywhere bro there's my closet door unfortunately all my freaking walls are covered except for right here and obviously i'm not going to put no shelves there because the door is right here so I can't open the freaking door uh, to get in if I put a shelf there. So I figure one, two, three, four um, carded figures. And it's not the first carded figures I have. Here are some other carded figures that I have right here. Some spawn figures, Scarface figure, which I'll never open. And then we have the darkness, darkling figures, which I'll never open because they look great on card. And if I were to open them up, open them up i probably will lose these sons of bitches maybe one day i might open them up not really for sure but as of right now they're staying on card so i'm gonna hang this up these four figs up is uh just using some tacks so let's jump to it okay so here they are guys right behind the door so when you walk into the door you'll probably won't see them on display but if you're in the toy room then you'll see them so they actually is it they're actually a nice a uh, wall filler should I say speaking of <laughs> but yeah they look great man they look great on card actually hanging on my wall um, this is kind of rare because I don't I don't necessarily hang up carded figs because if I did then I wouldn't have no space for all of this shit that you see around you right here in front of you so yeah <laughs> they actually look really great on on card it's a great place too to put them like right behind the door as you walk in because when you open the door they're not going to touch it they're completely out of the way so they're not going to get smashed so they're hidden behind the door closed door close and there you go so yeah they look really really good all right the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to organize my cards because as you guys know i collect a lot of dc mcfarland stuff and i collect the cards as well because i collect trading cards so we're going to organize them in my binder before we do any more organizing because i want to organize these cards so let's do that all right ladies and gentlemen so let me show you what i'm going to put in my binder uh before we start so some of you guys may have seen this uh on my youtube uh, community page i got these posters these mini, mini posters from little caesars the batman movie right here i got two of them 
Uh, usually what I do with like posters and stuff, I have like a little scrapbook. So I don't know if I ever, I, I'm pretty sure I uh, showed this to you guys on my uh, YouTube channel. But here are some of the prints that I got. This is like from uh, Batman, um, Batman Forever prints. These are actually very, very rare um, prints. These are actually the uh, bigger size uh, cards, trading cards, Batman Return trading cards. So these prints are actually very, very rare. Uh, I got these from my brother way, way back in the day. Uh, some Spider-Man ones too. You can guess how much these are worth. Um, Spider-Man right there. Craven, Carnage, Spider-Man right there. Uh, Batman Forever. These are the cards that came out uh, May 1995. And then here are just some random stuff, Independence Day. <laughs> if you guys know, back in the day, this hologram picture came out with the VHS for Independence Day, and I still had this mofo. A picture of Predator, um, some random stuff, uh, circular base, uh, cardboard base spawn, and then we have a mall, a uh, big trading card. I put that in there simply because it doesn't fit in anywhere. So hopefully these posters fit in here. Um, if not, I have nowhere. I have no idea where the hell I'm gonna put these sons of bitches at. So let's put them in here. And yeah, look at that. They fit perfectly, man. Perfectly. Awesome. Awesome. Great. 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 So put this one in here as well. Nice. They go in there. Great. Right there. That's really dope. So yeah, it's just kind of a scrapbook of, you know, cardboard, big pieces of cardboard stuff that I don't really have space for anyplace else. So that's why I have this book right here. Speaking of Batman stuff, here is some Batman trading cards we're going to put into this binder over here. Simply because you guys know I not only collect action figures, but I collect trading cards as well. I've been collecting trading cards all my life. Here are some of the Realm of the Claw figures right here are cards from the figures. Uh, Saber was the last figure that I reviewed. If you guys didn't see any of these reviews, check them out. I got trading cards with all of these, all of, all of these guys. Really, really awesome. Realm of the Claw, Mutant Earth figures. Um, let me see some mask trading cards. Tales from the Crypts, which will go into this binder right here. Um, and this is pretty much my DC binder right here. Most of my trading cards are Marvel related, so here's some Superman trading cards. If you guys never seen them, I don't think I've ever done a review of this. I think every time I break these binders out, I show you some cards that I've never done reviews of, and don't think I will. I don't know. I might. I might not. But anyways, we're gonna zoom through here. Maybe I'll show it to you guys one day. But yeah, they're really, really nice trading cards. Some of them are a mix of uh, Superman trading cards. Others are just kind of random trading cards but here is all my all my all my dc man i can't speak today dc mcfarlane trading cards as you guys know i've been picking up a lot of fucking dc trading cards man these are all the figures that i've collected most of them i still have i say about 98 percent of them i still have maybe some of them I, I sold off here and there um but yeah man this is crazy where i'm at right here right now so yeah this is more trading cards. Actually, I have these. Okay, I have these already in here. So I have these Batman trading cards already in here. Okay, so these are just kind of duplicates. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so let's pick up where I left off. And as you guys can see, it's been... Oh, man. I've, I've built... I've collected a lot more DC figs. So yeah, I have a little bit of everything. Blight, Steppenwolf. And these are all action figures I reviewed, folks. Wonder Woman, The Flash, Earth-52... Um, actually, I think I bought the gold version of him. I customized him, and then I end up selling him off because I just didn't like my custom. So somebody bought him. Batwoman, which I actually sold off as well. Uh, the Demon, I still have. Azrael, awesome figure. Swamp Thing, awesome figure. Batman, from the new Batman movie. Joker, the Clown, awesome figure. Batman, Azrael, awesome figure. Shazam, okay. Lobo, amazing figure. Lex Luthor, awesome figure. Batman Earth 32, then Green Lantern. Uh, all of them awesome figures, guys. So, yeah, either I love love McFarlane or I hate him. Let's pop them in the binder. Let's do a couple, and then we'll fast forward um, to them already looking magnificent. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the trading cards. Here's the Batman Beyond build a figure features in. We have uh, Shriek, Blight, and then Batwoman right there. You know, it's funny with these cards. I wish McFarlane would do just stick to a theme. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. I mean, he mixes it up between like animated stuff and then the movie version. And then sometimes he'll do like the product shot, the toy version. So, I don't know, man. I wish he would just kind of stick to the animated theme version, right? You know, of the character, instead of doing, like, the product shot of the toys. So, as you guys can see, it's kind of a mixture of a little bit of everything. And then you have some cards right here that are kind of silver-plated, or whatever the hell you want to call it, like holographic cards. You have the animated cards, and then you have the product shots, and then you have the human after shots, which is kind of weird, man. Let me know. Do you guys like that? Are, are you guys collecting the DC McFarlane trading cards? Do you guys like the mixture of all of it? The the toys and the actors and the animated stuff? Let me know. Then here's all the uh, figures from Peacemaker to build King Shark. Don't have a King Shark trading card, which kind of sucks. I guess you have to buy the, the, the deluxe version. Then here's some of this right here. The Flash, Wonder Woman, the Demon, Lobo, Batman, Swamp Thing. Yeah, it's hard to believe I, I've bought all these damn figures, man. And over here, Batman and Joker, Shazam, Asriel, Steppenwolf. Then you flick over here, and this is crazy, guys. These these cards, if you guys know where these cards came from, guess. These were actually trading cards that came with the action figures, the DC Kenner action figures back in the day. I got these babies like I was when I was maybe like around 12 maybe younger, 11, 12, 13 years old, and I've kept it all these freaking years. It's hard to believe, man. It's so hard to believe I've kept these cards in my possession for over 20 years. Isn't that crazy? So these were the cards that came with the Kenner Batman action figures, which just is absolutely insane, guys. And then back here, the Realm of the Claw figs are cards. Then Batman Beyond, or excuse me, Batman Returns. But yeah, that's pretty damn amazing. But yeah, this this is my DC McFarlane collection cards as of right now. Insane, man! Insane that I've collected all these damn figures. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and organize my toy room. Get this shit all straightened out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my Marvel Legend shelf kind of how I want it to be. Everything is good up here. Avengers, so on and so forth. Spider-Man, everything looks good. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Then come over here, down to here. Got my Marvel Legends shelf. All hooked up. All hooked up. Right there, looking marvelous. Really, really nice. Very, very unorganized. <laughs> well, very un very organized, but very clutter. Clutterful. Clutter? Clutter? Clutterful? Clutterful. Color. Colorful. I don't clutter full i think that's a word if not then we'll just call it a word for today and then down here mcu shelf i, I man i definitely would love to see wolverine and rocket uh interact at some time in the near future hopefully the x-men can join the avengers someday some sometime soon and then there's my spider-man shelf okay guys um i have my dc shelf my Mortal Kombat shelf to organize, and then we'll head over to my Spawn shelf over there as well. And then maybe take him to the doctor for being so lazy and overweight and out of shape and depressed. Okay. And gentlemen finally got everything how i want it i got my predator and alien collection over here complete NECA movie section over here mcfarland stuff mezco so on and so forth dc figs or excuse me movie or video game fig should i say king shark threw me off because i don't have any space for him down here on my dc shelf so here's my dc stuff it is cluttered as all hell man but i don't have any room until I make another shelf. Got my Mortal Kombat collection all set up. Looking nice. 
NECA section looking good. Ninja Turtle section, nothing really happens up there. Because it's been a while since I bought some Ninja Turtle stuff, new Ninja Turtle stuff, and I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I have because I just really wanted the main characters of the movie and the animated series. So, uh, as you guys know, I'm not collecting all the animated stuff. I love it all. I wish I could buy them all, man, but I just don't have the room. I don't have the space and don't really have the money for them. You know what I mean? Well, money's not a problem, but it's just the space. I don't really have the space for Avengers Assemble right up there. And then over here, I have my Stan Winston stuff, all my, uh, all my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, other stuff. Greg Capullo, um... Brian Paluto, <laughs> McFarlane horror stuff, other stuff that doesn't just doesn't go with any of my collection. It's all here. Uh, so yeah, everything is looking good, guys. Spawn shelf, a little messy over here. What, in the, what the hell is this thing? It's a little messy right here, but uh, nonetheless, um, this is this is an easy fix right here. It's a little cluttered, obviously, with. Uh, all the shit that I have. Everything is a little cluttered. Uh, down here, or excuse me, over here, we have my new uh, spawn shelf with some older figs incorporated right here. Custom stuff. Then drop down here. Just, I, I decided to put my 7-inch uh, spawn McFarlane stuff with the newer stuff because it actually it scales well with it. So that's why you see some of the older stuff with some of the newer stuff. And they go pretty damn well together, even though some of the older stuff are, is just statues. Um, and then drop down here, then I have my samurai medieval stuff. Bunch of customs, as you guys know me, I like to do customs. Okay guys, um, I think I got everything organized finally. Oh yeah, I got, got my cane up here. This is kind of my uh, mis miscellaneous, that's the word I was looking for, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous stuff like Power Rangers right here, then a wrestling fig, Star Wars, Boba Fett, and then G.I. Joe. A couple of G.I. Joe figs. Just mis mis miscellaneous stuff. That's what I meant to say. This is my miscellaneous wall right here. Diamond Select and McFarlane and so on and so forth. So Stan Winston, so on and so forth. You, you know. Anyways, I'm out of breath. Okay, guys. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, um, watching me organize my toy room i finally got everything set up how i want it to be like i said another shelf is gonna come into play dc shelf because obviously i'm running out of room this guy right here takes up a lot of freaking space as well so i gotta do something about him but yeah everything is uh, pretty organized um everything looks good um and that's that. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you make of this video. Let me know, guys, what do you want to see coming up. If you have any ideas for me, shoot me some ideas. And there you guys have it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.